Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Temperature Fall by Jays. So this continues our thermometer theme week. Hope you're enjoying it. Each puzzle has the thermometer constraint along with another constraint. In this case, the thermometers are also referenced lines. So if you know what that means, you can go ahead and start solving. Uh, if not, I'm going to go over the rules now. So we do have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules. So in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have thermometers in the grid. These are these uh, lines with a bulb end, a circle at the end, which we call a bulb. If you imagine uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of those thermometers like that uses mercury, where you've got the bulb and then you've got the stick coming out of it, um, as the mercury rises, the temperature is higher. So the numbers on the stick are higher. So the numbers on the thermometer have to get higher from the bulb end, but it doesn't have to be equidistant or consecutive or anything like that. So we could do, say, two, four, five, and that would be perfectly fine. They just have to get strictly bigger as you move along. And strictly just meaning can't be the same, can't be smaller. It's strictly larger. All right. But in addition to that, the thermometers are also reference lines. So a reference line of length n, so this is a line of length 3, we include the bulb, it must contain the digit n. So because this is length 3, this thermometer somewhere on it must have a 3. Um, and then this thermometer, it's 4 in length, it needs to have a 4 on it. And that's it, those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, or you can use the tracking sheet, and I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so how should we get started? These are all very short thermometers. Well, we know there's a 2 somewhere on this thermometer. We know there's a 3 somewhere on this, but in this one, we can't put a 2 down here. So this can't be the 3, right? If this was 3, we go 3, 2, 1, and now we couldn't put a 2 on this one. So the 3 is going to be down here somewhere. And so now that means, so this, yeah, this isn't the 3. That means this can't be the 4, because if we went 4, 3, 2, 1, we'd have a 2 here. But this also can't be the 4 because we don't have, yeah, we don't have two digits. These would have to be from one, two, three, right? To be less than four. And we don't have two of those remaining. The two and three are over here. So these would both be one. So four is not up here, meaning that one of these is a four. That's pretty neat. Um, now, six is our biggest number, though, right? So if this was a four, we'd go five, six, and then we'd have nothing to put here. So actually, this can't be the 4. The 4 ends up here. This is the other, th this is this has to be the 1, right? Because it has to be less than 4. It can't be 2 or 3. So we place the 1 as well. And then now this goes 5, 6. Very nice. That's a cool opening. All right. Uh, this needs a 3 on it. Um, the 3 could be here or here, though. Can this be the 3? 3, 2, 1? It actually seems reasonable. Ah, OK. Can this be a 3, right? If this was a 3. This would have to be from 1 or 2, but the 1 and 2 are here. So the 3 is placed here, actually. This can't be 4, so the minimum it can be is 5. Can't be 4 because the 4 in the box. That puts 5, 6 here. So these are just, in general, for, the, for Sudoku reasons, uh, 1, 2, and 4. And this can't be the 1. Um, if this was the 4, the 3 would end up here. If this was the 2, the 3 would end up here. But yeah, we know there's a 3 in one of these, too. I can mark that. Um, what else can we say about all these? This needs a three on it. This three says not here. So this is three. So this is four, five. This is, this, this actually has to be six because even if this was a four, the smallest it could be, this has to be five or six, but it can't be a five. So this is a six, no matter what. Uh, these sixes look up, can't put six in a bulb. So six ends up here. This needs a two on it though. So the two goes there. That makes this four, uh, and that makes this three. Okay, these aren't four. We get a three in the corner, deet deet dooting, right, right, right there. All right. This is five or six. We don't know which one. We do know there's a six down here somewhere. And we know there's a four up here somewhere. We know there's a three down here somewhere. Let's just mark all that up. Um, the two is up here somewhere. Uh, we do need a two in one of these two, though, on this guy, which means this can't be two. So this is one, this is two. All right, so the remaining digits are 1, 5, 6 here. The 1 looking in tells us this is 1, this is 6, this is 5. All right, this is a 1, 4 pair. And this is a 3, 5 pair. The 5, this 5 here tells us the order. That's 3 and 5. That gives us the 4 here. All right, looks like we're wrapping up. We get the 1 and the 4 here. 
Um, what, what's the easiest place to be looking here? Ah, the two digits remaining here are two and six. We know we know which order they go in on this thermo. That does finish this row with a five. This box needs one and two. This one tells us the order, two and one. This column needs a two. That places the two here. And this column needs a three. Lots of ways to finish this puzzle. This is how I'm doing it. <laughs> we need the four and the five. This five tells us this is four, five. Here in this row, we do need a four, which goes there. We need one and three. That's three, one, and we're done. Very nice. Okay. Cool puzzle, Jays. Um, you can probably guess what tomorrow's is going to be if you've been following along this series, but otherwise it'll it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Who created the next puzzle? What will the rules be? <laughs> uh, so look forward to that. Um, so yeah, this this was neat. I really liked how this box ended up working out with the two length line, the three length line, and the four length line, and how the thermos restricted that with along with the referencing. That was really neat. Um, you could just keep thinking about the box and keep getting more out of it. <laughs> I always love that. So cool. I hope you enjoyed this as well. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.